things off. So we'll have to see whether or not we're going to see anything new on our third map, which is, of course, Bank. This map will decide who goes on to the grand final and who still has their hopes and dreams of an Invitational alive or who's going to go home. Fav Gaming haven't traveled this far for nothing, but their bank has been well telegraphed to the world, and Airwolf have many, many VODs from Fav Gaming's Japanese qualifier to look at. Fav Gaming gonna just take Montaigne off the board altogether. On Clubhouse, Montaigne was played every single round. Yeah, and then we didn't see him once in the uh, in Oregon, Ooh. but Habana being taken off the board though as well. Really limits the amount of hard breach available, which is so very valuable on bank, especially attacking that basement. You've got so many hatches and, of course, the walls of server that you want to be opening up. Yeah. Hero wants to limit that somewhat. And this defensive ban taking its time is going to take the full 20 seconds. It's going to be Echo. All right. Well, um, not much difference there. You know, it's the same ban they've banned every single map so far. So. And a very, very quick ban from Fab Gaming here. They know what they want. So the Monty and the Maestro being taken off the board. Right. So uh, a lot of... Mirror still up? Yeah, a lot of potent operators taken off the board, Ying's but still, still a lot of very... Time. Yeah, a lot of strong operators still remaining. Blitz has been banned in the past, but not this time. Ying has been banned in the past, but not this time. Mira has been banned in the past, but not this time. CEO. Top floor bomb site going to come out first. Clash being teased as well. I'm not sure whether this will be a six pick. Well, this is a Japanese special, right? Like, <laughs> Clash, oh, yeah. on, Clash on the top floor is a Japanese special. And they are going to six pick the mirror to the dock. And we're going wow. to see Maverick get swapped out for a Glaz. I actually really like that change. Um, they, of course, don't know the bomb site, But I do like that change as well. They have no way of stopping the bandits though, unless they do go, unless they do manage to take control of downstairs. I find it interesting the fact that the mirror was switched off of because in Fav Gaming's uh, matches against Sengoku, when they were uh, trying to qualify for this event, they played a mirror window at what's called Kanto Spot, which is just a Taipon's left, named after Kanto from G2. He loves playing that spot. You play it with your ACOG, you just peek everything pretty much, whether it's the south face, sorry, the west facing win windows, the north facing windows, you just do some serious work. However, the job of the mirror can really be, uh, be taken up by the clash somewhat of that intel gathering. Yeah, which is that's probably what we're going to see here. Shin on that clash. This is an operator who we've seen rise and fall. And ooh, they've still got the rear to reinforce. That's a late reinforcement from Odin Miso, though, because he is close to those windows. Shouldn't be punished as of yet. Not a ton of impact grenades in the hands of Fav Gaming. Impact's very valuable on this bomb site for denying thermite charges by throwing them above the reinforced portion of the walls on the east side. However, the holes that are required, oh, they're being opened up just now. I wonder whether we'll see that because the castle and the clash both don't have any impacts. So it's going to go after the rook if that's going to happen. Drones out from the southeast side, typical place to push. Airwolf just embracing the norm at the moment, gaining some intel. Yeah, and Shin going to be a very important intel gatherer here, but he can't push out. Or oh, else no. He's just going to be dropped like that. And there we go. The lifeline kill from Hysterics. Shin gets taken out, and a bit of damage went around to uh, no one, actually. This play from Shin, no intel on stock, assuming that it was still clear when, in fact, Hysterics had pushed in. Punishes that player early, and a huge amount of intel gathering destroyed for Fav Gaming so early on. Yeah, it certainly has. That is a big pickup from uh, from the clash. But we've also lost the jackal as well, which you know, really great pickup early on for uh, Fav Gaming as well, though. Not being able to contain those roamers, and also reducing the available smoke grenades utility. Still, Airwolf, I think, have the upper hand. A bit of metal on this. North side repel, where his teammate was felled earlier. He's gonna do some damage with it, but you can see he's playing very passive, very cautious of these angles. Afro with his deployable shield. In a strong position at Kanto to not only peak the main angles yeah. to the west, but also up to the east using the shield. Yeah, it's a strong angle. If Hysterics walks out, there will be a pixel shot there. Hysterics has also used all of his uh, explosive canisters in the lifeline as well, so he won't be able to destroy that shield. 
k is in a very exposed spot right now. You can see the way how he's looking. He's not feeling very comfortable. Smoke grenades are coming out. Luna's putting a couple of shots down in him, not finding anything. Ysterra going to put a couple of shots down. He's not finding anything. Oh, no. The ping from Luna. Why did they ping that? I think if they hadn't pinged him, he probably would have gone for it and been dead. k oh, no. finds one. What? The k -Razor. Oh, my God. k -Razor, a 3K. He comes out of nowhere and just eliminates Arrowwolf. Now it is all up to Hysterics in a 1v4. Time for an ace, Hysterics. He certainly finished off Oregon with a bang, and he's looking to do the same here at 3k that's so three. far. Two remaining, whips out the pistol, but K Razor is not going to shy away from that 4k, securing the round for his team in a solo fashion. Incredibly impressive from the Bandit player. Yeah, unfortunately, Hysterics didn't really have the time frame left to be able to clutch that out. He didn't have time to reload his uh, main weapon, so he does have to pull out the pistol, and the pistol going to lose to an MP7 at close range. So, great plays by K-Razor. Great plays by Hysterics. Luna Metal got absolutely dumpstered by the uh, K-Razor flank. Yeah, that's They the just sort of all lined up for him. Yeah, really. It was uh, impressive. The Bandit pushing aggressively, peeking onto the Ash on the window, getting that kill, rounding the corner and taking out two... Outside in the uh, in the main skylight area, impressive stuff. Now, locked in for this next bomb site is Teller's office on the first floor. So no basement, basement. Typically the uh, the primary bomb site for many teams on this map. Looks like Faith not not favoring it at all. Yeah, it's a it's a little odd by them. They're really avoiding that uh, that bottom floor. Maybe it's because they're trying to like. Maybe because they think Arrow will, f will think that they're attacking it first, so they bring their operators for it, and then of course they're not. Yeah, right? perhaps, like, but I also think that it's a bit deeper than that. Fav Gaming like to play loosely and over a large span of area, whereas that basement bomb site can be attacked in tight. such a way. It, yeah, it can be really tight. You know, you, you don't have to. Yes, it's great to take map control and such, but. It's really revolves it around server into CCTV, that incredibly close stock area that Arrowwolf, they love dealing with that kind of stuff. That's where their Monty um, flourishes. Obviously, Monty's been banned, but there are substitutes for the Montane in that scenario, and Fav just don't want to go anywhere near it. Yeah, it, it's... The, I think the claustrophobia of it would be against uh, Fav's playstyle. I think you are right there, so... Maybe trying to play to their strengths here and just avoid their weaknesses as much as possible. They will eventually have to go down there. Well, maybe not, but if they win this round, they'll have to go down there. Lots of aggression from Fav. Just patient aggression, such as the angle from Afro. You know, why not just hold a little angle and see if uh, you'll get lucky? Yeah, well, I mean, it's a good strategy. But it does rely on other people to come into your line of sight. Array just being very, very careful here. Ysera pushing in through the stock room. Where uh, Hysteria got the first kill in the previous round. Afro playing very patiently near Banana with one also of the Fav players in CEO. Well, one thing we haven't touched on is they obviously haven't bought the Clash. Instead, bringing a Rook instead. Yeah, so a lot of these long angles going to be utilized by Fav Gaming. Still type on holding in the close claustrophobic angle of Janitor Closzy as a shotgun and SMG-11. Both excel at that range, and the gas canisters will prevent him being flushed out for quite some time. Yeah, they can, of course, send drones in through there, but, you know, drones aren't going to kill you, so uh, he is still relatively safe as long as he has those gas canisters up. Some reinforcements on... Oh, okay, Taipon finally taken down by Mensal. But Fav Gaming healing each other up using the dock utility. Odin Miso still in CEO, waiting for his opportunity to peak the Maestro... Sorry, the Maverick holes, causing him some grief. However, he still is in a strong position to push. Afro gets finally taken down. Hysterics, another one as well. Odin Miso is just one of two remaining, and he's still all the way away from the bomb site upstairs. Yeah, he's a long way away. Shin's still downstairs, though. Odin Miso. They still they still have to flush him out. And there we go. That's him being flushed out. So, Sh what? Shin's actually getting off site. Oh, no. To do this mute. He does have the SMG-11, but Ysera is going to find him as he vaults back over. Arrowwolf take a very dominant uh, round number two there. 
incredibly dominant. As you said, Fav Gaming not finding anything on their top floor hold. Just really not managing to find any kills whatsoever. Dying one by one by one. Airwolf really slow and coordinated, and I think that's paying off for them. They're analyzing the area and figuring out the best way to deal with something and allowing players to sneak up and make the play necessary. We've seen the exact same strategy out of Fav. Looks like it, doesn't it? Same operator lineup. Cap can. Oh. I like this. Cap Shit, traps promising. for days. Certainly can work out. That said, Airwolf have been playing very safely and very slowly. That's the kind of play style that would a cautious player would take out a cap can trap and, and not be fallen into the trap. So, a bit worried for Fav. I hope Shin can prove me wrong. A hunter always watches where he steps. That's that's really good advice for you, thank you. Oh, it's straight from the cap can uh, operator yeah, video. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I, I did get it. Now, speaking of hunter, no Jaeger this round, so... Interesting that, you know, such a prolific operator as, as the Jaeger is being passed up on for these long-range Well, Jaeger's actually contenders. been dropped a fair bit. There's been a couple of rounds I've noticed that we haven't had Jaeger, so I'd be very interested to see where his operator pick rate is across all three maps. Yeah, I just feel so uncomfortable so many times when there's just no Jaeger on the team because maybe not so much on this bomb site, but there are so many locations where you, you just need a Jaeger, otherwise you're going to get grenaded, otherwise you're going to get flash, otherwise you're going to get yinged. Shin is really trying to make hysterics push in through, uh, yeah. uh, in through the uh, stock room. Really difficult. Worked out for Hysterics. Last time he did very well pushing him through that hallway. Shin's well spaced out cap can traps downstairs. Will hopefully aid the very condensed ones upstairs. Type 1, hopefully, will stay alive a bit longer inside of Janders this time. Mm. I can't help but feel that Aerowolf has flushed out these roamers so well, though, that I just, I don't. I don't think that they're going to be able to do an awful lot. I don't think, unless they win their gunfights, I don't see a strategical way for Fav to ensure victory here for their Romans, that is. Oh, taking a bit of damage. Now, the thing is, Fav Gaming taking a lot of these ACOGs. Some of the Airwolf players are not, such as Yusera playing Maverick. He's got a hollow, only one times magnification. So, Fav Gaming do have the potential to win these long range gunfights and really spearhead themselves from that point. Yeah, and Hysterix, he didn't fall for the cap trap. I don't think he's going to fall for the second one either. k rays are coming up on that flank. He could potentially find it. Shin gets a C4 kill on Dementalist, though. He's been dropped out of the game. And Odin Miso has taken a ton of damage. Afro's getting jackal tracked here. But oh, through man. the wall, Afro lands the headshot onto Ysera, but uh, onto Hysteric, sorry, Ysera though does get the trade off into Odin Miso. Ysera's on the side, he picks himself up a second, he is going to get down. K rays are going to pick up the kill credit for that finally. And all that's said and done is the two versus three in Fab's favor. These Thatcher EMPs can be utilized to destroy any lesion mines or stray cap can traps, but it's not exactly what Lunar Metal needs. And here comes the second trackle. It is on the smoke. Trackle. I like that. He's going to get pushed off. Attackers recovered the bomb diffuser. This is where you really need to have the vertical play. The shotgun's useful for that, but these pings aren't very frequent, and it's not too difficult for Fav Gaming to just move around after every single ping. Yeah, you do sort of have to plan it. You almost have to have a route planned because you can see how this ping is coming across here. He gets tagged up a little bit, and it's going to force him off, but these flanks now... Luna on the other side, a Raiden just not being oh. successful enough to get it. A couple of shots missing from down below. <laughs> oh no, oh, where's Shin that? From below, just picks him up. And it's all left up to a Ray. Bombs down, one versus three. Ray not going to pick up the diffuser. He knows he has, he to, has to find to these frags. frags one by one by one. Can't even peek into the bomb site, retreating to the diffuser. This is too late, mate. You can't play for this now. And Shin on the peak with the cap can takes him out. Shin, your cap can traps may not have detonated, but certainly you did some work with this 9x19. Really did. That SM it's actually really good SMG. Yeah, one of the best SMGs, I reckon. It yep. uh, may not be super high damage, but it's great fire rate, very low recoil. Yep, it's actually a really good SMG. It just sort of sits under the radar. Because it's only on the Russian operators, you don't see it an awful lot. So... Um, as you know, the, the Russian ops in general just aren't picked that much. But we are going back upstairs into the CEO and executive lounge.
still shying away from that basement bomb site. But the first bomb site they did win. See ya. Got it first time too. That's unlocked now. Shin six picking onto the clash. Airwolf should be expecting this this time. And they just brought the glass straight off the bat as well. Yeah, well, I've actually been very unimpressed with this clash so far. I don't think the clash has actually managed to achieve okay. anything. Oh, yeah, because we saw it only in one round, one round. and he peeked out aggressively First onto death, an angle, yeah. not realizing there was someone watching his rotate, and he just died. So I expect Shin will perhaps play more safely this time around, not risk it when he doesn't have any intel on what's happening in stock. Yeah, um... I'm going to be very, very interested to see exactly what his plan is for Clash because, as you said, we saw him die pretty much instantly. So I'll be very interested to see what. Like, is he just going to hold? Uh, is he just going to hold janitors again? Like, is I, that? I think honestly, to hold janitors, something like a smoke is is ideal. But to rotate around, whether it's holding janitors or enabling your teammates to peek the north windows, or whether it's even enabling your, your player at Kanto spot to uh, to peek out aggressively, whether it's west or east. I think that the main thing is just moving intel around as needed to the team. Yeah, and do you think Fav they haven't they haven't destroyed the hatch yet in janitors, which is obviously their easiest way to escape sight. I don't quite know where their roamers are at this point. Looks like one's in janitors. Uh, sorry, not in janitors, in stock trading. But it's going to be very interesting. Actually, Typon docked himself. He overhealed himself. Yeah, perhaps he wanted to go for an aggressive peek. Looks like holding stock is a priority for Fav Gaming. And this Clash can certainly help out Typon. However, Clash doesn't do much for you when the Glaz is pushing straight on in there. This era could catch these guys in the back, droning himself in, spots out the Clash, knows that the Clash is exposing himself to the angle that he has, but the Clash peeks on out. Hysterics is now the man to push into stock. Shin spots him out, calls it out to Typon. Yeah, Hysterics, he's entered the he's entered the building every single time through this spot so far. It doesn't look like it's going to stop here. They know exactly where Shin is. They are going to try and get a crossfire on him. It's not quite oh, going to happen. No! Hysterics actually TKs Hysterics. Hysterics has been TK'd three times now. Yeah, this is four team kills so far across Arrowwolf in this series. It's That's just far too much. The smoke grenade perhaps will enable the Glaz to peak more aggressively, but it really can't do that much. And Typon still safe. Yeah, he hasn't been caught out just yet. They, I do believe they know where he is, like roundabouts, but he hasn't been caught out. And, ooh, actually, Hooray going for a longer drone, saying, hey, Hysterics, since we killed you, can you just sit on my drone? <laughs> Poor Hysterics always struggling along, but I feel like that's where Errolf are at the moment. Not quite sure how to push on this. The fact that they didn't get the early pick onto the Clash means that it's giving so much intel to the whole team and once wow. again k razor peeks out aggressively does get refragged but still the clash is enabled to flank three mentalist players from inside. airwolf remaining two players inside mentalist gets one kill three players left for fav 30 seconds still plenty of time but airwolf are dropping like flies afro with two big kills all up to array in a one versus three 20 seconds i really thought that was going to go well for airwolf when they got into sight mentalist was in a spot where he uh, could have potentially planted, but instead they they keep getting more aggressive. They keep walking forward, so he never gets the plant off. And Fav bring that round back beautifully. So terrified of that flank from the clash, really made Arrowwolf not in any position to to hold on to the the skylight area. And when they pushed into bomb site, they felt like they couldn't just sit and hunker and plant because there were too many crossfires to do it. They had to keep pushing. Unfortunately, it only lasted so long. Yeah, it only lasted so long indeed. So we are going now down to this basement. So we do get to see why they're so scared of the lockers and CCTV. Attackers need to locate and Finally, as many bombs as they can. basement. L is not something you see every day on this bomb site. Perhaps we'll see some kind of aggressive play. Oh, I would say aggressive play in server, but no, not with uh, not with no Jaeger. You really need a Jaeger if you're going to do that. I like the, the sheer amount of intel gathering that we've got from Fav Gaming. Both the uh, the intel roamers of Valkyrie and Pulse, and of course the the mirror windows. 
Not to mention the fact that do gain some intel from those Elamines as well. A lot of good denial. Three C4s and the gas babes. Should and be the everything. if you so wish to use them. Should be everything for uh, that Fave would need. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of utility on this lineup from Fab. They've done some brilliant work in their operator selection. We've got a very dynamic and versatile team, so we'll have to see exactly how they're bringing up. Wow. Prepared to sprint very aggressively through this doorway, not actually allowing themselves any cover. However, it may well pay off for them. On the Arrowwolf side, good versatile lineup. Two bits of hard breach on account of the Hibana being banned. Maverick's going to have to be used to scraggly open up these hatches. Yeah, but it'll take a while, and he won't be able to get three of them. He'll only be able to get two of them. Looks like the roam clear working out so well for, uh, for Airwolf. Interesting, both of these teams have historically been playing fairly roam heavy. Fav, now that they finally commit to a more passive bomb site, they are really committing. Yeah, they're, you know, all down, and I think this is thrown Airwolf. They're like, where are the... Where know, are the roamers? Where, 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 where are, are our free kills early round? Right? Yeah. And I think, so, okay, you get, you get trackled, oh, and I then like you that. go aggressive. Yeah, I mean, sometimes if, if the jackal track, you know, typically people are expected to play passive. So between the two tracks, if you get just aggressive on one of them, perhaps some people aren't expecting it. Okay, Rays are playing very aggressive, looking through this Maverick holes. If you can find a kill onto a Maverick who's opening up these holes, seriously helps out your team. Yeah, it really does. And... Oh, he doesn't quite get it. I Did think he... Ysera knows that he's dealing with a player beneath. Yeah. Oh, no! A oh, little bit of the shot. He, he hasn't quite got it just yet. He's trying to wait for it to be broken. What are you doing, mate? That uh, <laughs> that was not so good. That C4 didn't help much. Now he can't pick it back up. Walls open. Sorry, hatch is open. Flashed out. Now K Razor defaults back. Unfortunately, he wasted that C4 on the roof as well. Lunar Metal taken out by Odin. Uh, sorry, taken out Odin Miso. Still, Shin playing aggressively. Server player now eliminated. He has to fall back into Gold Vault. But good. with that Pulse scan, he's going to have all the information they need. Yeah, good spot for a Pulse. Mantle is going to be opening up this default Thermite wall. Sterix watching the long angles, opening up some angles as well. Seriously can help out the team. This red hatch still completely reinforced, allows much more aggressive play from Eros, from Fav Gaming downstairs. A C4 doesn't. I think, it, I think oh it, got God, it got shot out. Yeah. The plant starts, but I believe it's baited out. No more C4s remaining for Fav Gaming at all. We had three of them, and none of them have done the damage that's needed. Still five players up for Aerowolf. Ten seconds. This is going to be a blitz of kills. Two more for Aerowolf. Two players left for Fav. Make that one. It's oh. just type on the lonely man remaining. Can he deny the plant? No, it goes down. Asterix to clean it up. And there's a round for Aerowolf. Yeah, so they managed to take a very dominant basement attack here. So I guess that's why Fav have been avoiding the basement. As you said, I think the claustrophobia of it just sort of forces them into a play style they're not comfortable with. And so they weren't able to play to their strengths and so Aerowolf completely just dismantled them there. I really think that if Fav Gaming just makes some subtle changes, don't waste those three C4s early. They could have done they, it. Yeah. Absolutely, they could have done it. It was absolutely everything that they needed. I like the... the seepage of Fav Gaming's playstyle coming through and, and showing us, you know, aggressive peeking up the hatches. That's fine. You know, that's what Fav's good at. Go for it. All you like. But the the, the way that Fav played that defense made Aerowolf take so much time that it was only 10 seconds remaining. And if Fav had a C4 to deal with that, it would have been over. Yeah, so they do, of course, have to go back down to it. Actually, Tellers would have been unlocked. Yeah, and, and CEO as well. So they're just deciding. No, CEO is locked at the moment. Oh, it was won by Aerowolf, wasn't it? No, oh, it was won. Uh, it was won not by Aerowolf, and I wrote it down wrong. <laughs> Thank you for, for pointing that out. No worries. So, <laughs> like, Tellers would have been unlocked. They could have potentially gone Tellers. And so the choice to go back to CC is interesting to me. Considering they got absolutely demolished on it. Yeah, I, maybe 
they they've identified what they think they can do can to make do. it better. Yeah, and just a subtle change. A couple of different C4s. I agree with you. I think that could have gone yeah. very differently. So, so we've still got C4s. We've dropped the pulse out. Instead, we have uh, we have our alibi and our Jaeger. Looks like they want to have some kind of presence upstairs. In fact, a mirror window looking into CC. Uh, sorry, into CEO office. I quite like this. However, who knows how long it'll last before Airwolf can clean them out. Finding no one with that drone as he does jump into the executive hallway window. And he will find Shin in the executive lounge if he so pushes up. k Rays is actually in there as well. And this is a lot of pressure they're finding. They know two members of uh, Fab Gaming are up here, but not really landing anything just yet. One minute subsided, and Afro is still downstairs as well. So if Airwolf get too aggressive on their push in, perhaps they'll be punished, but not so far. Shin, Shin the first man to fall, and that's a C4 wasted. Not going to be used to deny the plant. Still, K Razor upstairs taking some damage. Not done any really, and they finished off as well. Yep, the Raze so managed to push his way in. And Fav, just not, that hold just not really going to what it was. All right, guys, we need Romas, but unfortunately just not really landing. Lunar Metal just a little bit too slow on that shot. Afro's going to live to fight another day. A lot of the ideas, but there are some key mistakes being demonstrated by Fav. And now finally, Afro eliminated. Just two players left to do yep. what the entire five players couldn't, couldn't do. do in the previous round. Yeah, the track will coming out a bit too strong, forcing a uh, forcing a move, and unfortunately Afro dealt with it with his life, paid for it with his life. Sorry. So finally going to take full map control. They know there's two on site. That's all they really have to deal with now. They're all taking their time. Very aggressive position. Yeah, I feel like Fab Gaming just they they need they, they feel like they need to rely on aggressive plays to to win this out and that's why we still have odin miso in there and look it worked out once okay still playing aggressive for him odin miso gets the headshot with the shotgun something you don't see oh, very no. often but no unfortunately not going to pay off that time as derek gets himself another kill credit taipon going full aggressive and they trade out but that is round two arrow wolf consecutive successful defense sorry attack of the downstairs bomb site really um i've got to agree with you uh why aren't fav mixing it up? why aren't they taking us elsewhere because this basement it's not the map for them not the uh, bomb site for them yeah really not hopefully they can understand that now and um, well obviously they understand it before but hopefully they can actually you know say hey well there was another bomb site unlocked for them so why we go this time but Aerowolf not shying away from that cctv on their first defense and As we we do split the half with with three three. So yeah. still anyone's map, still anyone's series. Of course, this is the last map of the series. Fav Gaming started this whole series off with a bang, and and now perhaps with the the difficulties they had on Oregon, Errorwolf are realizing that this is still possible for them. Errorwolf just woke up, or maybe they just stopped in August. <laughs> Like, all right, guys, we're not dealing with this. Defenders Next team in. Um, but, no, so look at that. Nine kills for Hysterics. He has been a monster so far this map. Hysterics has just performed very well today. Overall, I think, an exceptional fragger, making the impact, uh, the impacts that, that Airwolf have needed. Now, on this downstairs defense, I wonder whether we're going to see some roaming as well with the castle barricade. That's what I expect. And look at that. Very unusual castle barricade in the lobby. Near the elevator hallway, perhaps yeah. some inside of Tellers as well. That's what it looks like. Lots of rotations, lots to work with. I quite like this. Interesting. So, are they going to try and funnel everyone through that Tellers door? Right, so they don't want them to come in through the north door, they want them to come in through the actual Tellers door in the south. I think you might be right. There's a decent amount of utility on FAB to deal with that. And the Ash Charges, Buck Grenades, even the Maverick Blowtorch. Once again, a lot of late reinforcements from Fav Gang, but I don't expect... Sorry, from Airwolf, but I don't expect it'll be punished. No, I don't think it will either. They were reinforcing in, like, relatively safe spots. The only thing that it worried about me earlier for that late reinforcement was the fact he was reinforcing next to a window that generally gets shot at as a spawn peak precaution. Take a look at these reinforcements, too. We've got these hatches, hatches. above open area reinforced to try and solidify these roamers downstairs, and still one rotation. This is a hatch that's easy to hold from below. Yep. 
and you can't be utilized as much from above. Sterex is going to play upstairs for just a little while before retreating downstairs. Ysterra looks like he wants to just gain some intel while playing safe down. I wouldn't put too many, too much stake upstairs as Arrowwolf just yet. They've used a lot of utility up there, right? So it's about how much are they going to fall for, um, how much are they going to fall for, you know, the, the cost ratio fallacy. They've utilized oh. a lot, but Hysterix is going to find Shin. Afro going to trade him back though, so now we're in a 4v4. We lost Jaeger and Ash. All the Jaeger Ash mains are going to be disappointed at home. Yeah, all the, they're all crying inside. It's <laughs> all right. I'm a bit of a Jaeger man myself. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, Arrowwolf, I mean, I like the idea here, and I think it's something that Fave kind of toyed with with that mirror in when they played it inside of uh, inside of Janitors. But I, I think that Arrowwolf, look, they, they can be happy with how they're going on this defense so far. Seems to be working out for them. They're delaying time. The thing I'm worried about is if it does come down to a late flank and they need to they need to late flank server, if Fave are attempting to force a plant down, Arrowwolf reinforced the server hatch, so they can't actually uh, push onto that. So... Yeah, well, they can't just run down the stairwell. It sort of funnels them, but I, I, they oh, do wow. have the look option available to them. Is surely not. Doesn't look like it's going to be server at all. It looks like it's going to be a fairly aggressive vault push. And Array watching for it. He finds 1k. Razor was not expecting any players underneath that. That's yep. the bomb planted down. No more hard breach. Well, I guess we've got Afro still. Odin Misa pushing down the main stairs. Also taken down by Luna. He's received a lot of damage. For the, the issue. Two players left for Fav. Already trapped downstairs. Can there be a refrag? Taipon finally makes it happen, but he is treading water at the moment with almost no health remaining. Yeah, he's going to have to smoke out the back. These gas babes are going to come out. We're going to see exactly what they can do. He's probably going to have to run through them, to be perfectly honest. Uh, he'll die if he does. Slither of health. There it goes. He's going to go around, but now he's pinched. He's got people on either side of him. He's got one in garage. He's got one in his hallway. Mentalist picks up the kill. And Arrowwolf pick up their first defense round. Arrowwolf demonstrating that aggressive teams can play on this downstairs bomb site and roam successfully. But Fav, they couldn't do it on their defense. The real question is, how would Arrowwolf fare when defending the other bomb sites on this map? Because Fav had a very nice top floor hold. Arrowwolf's attack couldn't crack it. Let's see if what happens in the reverse. Yeah, Fab successfully holding both of their defenses upstairs, and now it is Arrowwolf's turn to try and hold it. We'll see if they learn a thing or two of Fab, or whether or not Fab actually have an answer for their own hold. Castle being brought out, I quite like that. The mirror as well, not something you see every day on this top floor. I wonder whether it's going to be in the long desk room, in conference room, looking towards stock. One of the big issues with Fav's hold was the fact that they didn't have much of a good hold in stock, at least not when the Clash died early. No Clash being brought from Arrowwolf, but still that one ACOG. Yeah, so the dock can sit by elevators, potentially um, stop any shenanigans coming from the car park. But um, otherwise, it, well, really, realistically, the dock can sit anywhere. Uh, there's a lot of long angles from the from the ACOG that he can potentially use. But Mira is going to go up into this conference room section, I think. I'd like to talk about the attacking utility being brought to try and deal with this. So, not a lot of smokes, but they do have the Kappa Towers. So when they do deploy their smokes, they don't have to worry about the Jaeger ADSs to catch them. They've got a lot of Soft Breach and a decent amount of Hard Breach as well, but not so much Gadgetry Denial. So no Thatcher, no IQ, not even a Twitch, for example. So it would be a bit more difficult to counter things such as the, the mirrors and the Jaeger devices if they want to throw their grenades and even the Valkyrie cameras for that matter. Yeah, it's going to be a bit harder for them to destroy that utility from Arrowwolf, but we'll have to see how Fab is planning on attacking. There's no one spawned over near the car park. So, they're not going to be able to make use of that angle at all. Afro made his way onto the roof already. See what he can get from the skylight. Going to be finding nothing. A lot of uh, a lot of emphasis being placed on these windows by Fab now as well. Odin Miso, he's got some nades he can throw in if he so wishes. No Jaeger, if he cooks it just perfectly, he might be able to take out a couple of people as well. Odin Miso looks to be taking a leaf out of his kinsman's book. Waka plays an incredible buck on these north windows. Waka from Norringo, the other Japanese team. Odin Miso should be given that a same get given that same thing a, a, a shot. But he's got a lot of angles to contend with, and you know, Yasara wants this. Finally, the impact trick is non-existent to deny K-Razor's Thermite Charge. 
and that's an avenue into the bomb site. Yeah, and you can see there, it's forced them out of their positions as well. Aerowolf now have had to play a much uh, less safe positions. But, oh no, Ysera. He's gonna impact trick that one. He manages to hold his flank, but he takes some damage for it, for his troubles. And the, the big thing here is that we've got no more Thermite charges. That wall is just not going to get opened. Ysera doesn't need to impact Trick any longer, but forcing themselves through that other Thermite breach, he's going to contend with the mirror if, if K Razor does try to peek that. Nothing to do with that mirror. Hibana's been banned. No Twitch. How can we take this mirror out? The only way would be go downstairs and shoot it through the floor, which is not looking to be possible in this scenario. One minute remaining. Yeah, I don't think it's really going to happen either. And this clock, as you said, is slowly, slowly ticking down. And that's going to be an angle and a half. Afro finds the head of Ysera there. That's going to roll. Luna now sitting behind this mirror. We'll have to see what he can achieve. Oh. Mentalist finds the kill on a K-Razor. That was a beautiful shot from downtown. The, uh, the asphyxiation bolt comes in, lands just forward. Afro finds himself for seconds. He removes the head of Hysterics now. But Afro's taking a ton of damage. Odin Miso, though, going to find one for himself as he drops Luna off the board. And then Odin Miso finds himself for second. Mentalist gets a C4 kill, though. He stops the plant, oh. but now he's taking a ton of damage. He's going to have to reload the Vector in a 1 versus 3. He's going to need a small miracle, but with 15 seconds left, his thing comes now. He just has to stop the plant. It doesn't matter how many kills get, as long as he stops the plant. And that's exactly now where down. he is. And that's a pistol kill. Odin Miso with a nice 3k. Going to take their first uh, their first win of the half. Impressive stuff from Odin Miso here. You see he tried to whip out the shotgun for the close range fight, but wasn't going to happen on the reload. Pistol will do the job just fine. A nice hold from Airwolf, but just didn't cut it. Fav Gaming had a nice attack through and through, and they even managed to deal with those mirror positions. Even when they lost players on the on their entry into the bomb site to try and plant, such as when Mentalis got that nice long angle from inside of Long Desk, Fav always had a, another way around it. And sometimes that way around it was simply, all right, Odin me, so just go, and, go in and, and jump in. You know, do your thing. <laughs> do your thing indeed. So we're going back to CEO. We've got the castle. We're going to see a six pick from Ash to Sledge, and we're going to see a six pick from Smoke to Pulse. Not bringing the ACOG of that doctor this time. That was their six pick from last time. Coincidentally, off Smoke as well. So... I'll have to see whether or not this change. What I find super interesting is the way that we saw this on Oregon as well. It's not like these teams are specifically, you know, good at attacking this bomb side or good at defending this bomb side. I mean, yes, that is the case, but I guess reading into it a bit, these teams just become so familiar and have developed such a strong understanding of the bomb side itself that it helps them for attacking and defending it. Fav Gaming have really good defenses on CEO. Aerowolf just can't attack it, and they they haven't they haven't defended it well either. Fav Gaming haven't had much luck downstairs, and and they haven't really figured out a strong way to get their Romas to deal damage. Whereas Aerowolf did that perfectly. Yeah, and it definitely Attackers seems to be it definitely seems Attackers to be a thorn in Aerial side. If they only have the one bomb site that they can successfully defend in the basement, they're gonna lose this half hard. And they seem confident that they can do what's needed on CEO, and they're not gonna go down to tell us just yet anyhow. Oh, oh this could be the wow. pick that's needed. Odin Misa, the man that stepped up in the last round, he's off the table. Hysterics, an unusual peak. But one that pays off. Yeah, and you can see that Typon now having to cover out that. While oh, they bring across a second player. I believe it was Shin. Yep, there it is. And they are going to sledge, start sledging open these castle barricades. A couple of shots come out. Nothing going to come of it, though. Just trying to scare each other off the windows. Shin still has these grenades. So it's not all is lost with Bark. Wouldn't mind seeing the castle barricade be destroyed by these grenades, actually. And it's not what's happening so far, just tossing them willy-nilly over towards the bomb. Yeah, it almost seems reckless with that. Uh, it's more, almost more a Hail Mary grenade that he's trying to throw there. That like, said, we've got the uh, we've got the thermite wall open, so not too worried about these impact grenade daggers. tricks so far. Afro in a very solid position, as long as he doesn't get flanked from his own hallway. 
Afro getting very aggressive inside of the janitor's closet. This is a power play position for him. He has so many angles he can deal with. He's just got to make sure he does not expose to any of them because there are Airwolf players planted all over the bomb site. And Airwolf C4 doesn't manage to land, but Array is right beneath. He could blow this hatch, and he does just that. Afro goes down. His body goes down with him. <laughs> True that, but well, the bomb plant. going for the plant. Be happening. Can C4 the C4 deny it? Yes, it does. It can. So much C4 working out for Airwolf at the moment. And Hysterics takes down Shin. It's just Taipon remaining. Oh, I feel like One, that's the case every B, single time. Five. And it's not going to happen. And almost a knife, but Hysterics just jumps out, out for yeah. it. And that was what was needed to get the job done. It was, indeed. C4. I definitely agree. C4. And I really quite like the idea of Array playing below. It's funny, he wasn't actually in necessarily in a good position to deny where the plant was with his C4, but he denied the most threatening player at that time. Yeah. Finally, we're seeing some improvement yeah. uh, round yeah. upon round from Aerial Wolf, and it's working out well. It looks like Fav... that will be six picked off. The Capkin? Yeah, there you yep, go. There onto go. a castle. And it looks Wasted like Fav no are also keen to make some changes. Shin bringing out the IQ. I really like this. Shin, clearly the IGL. He's the strat man. He, he likes to make these calls. And he's also very comfortable jumping around on operators. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, at this level of play, everyone should be comfortable on every operator, right? But Tell it, that to Joystick from Team it, Empire, who plays Ash consistently every single round of every single game. Right, like, it, like you might have an operator you're more comfortable on than others, but realistically, you should be able to play every single operator, right? The basic mechanics of every operator, land a headshot, remains the same, right? Like, there, there are differences, there are subtleties, and, you know, gun recoil and things like that, but realistically, you should be able to play you should be familiar enough with every single operator at this point. So now that we have one round up for Aerowolf, what are you feeling for the next move? What is the next move for them? And, I mean, like, defending this downstairs basement seems like a given. So I feel like we might be heading into a 6-4 next up. If they have want to prevent that from happening, what have they got to do? They brought out the IQ. Is that really going to make a difference? I don't think it's going to make a great deal of difference. Yeah, they will eventually find all the Valk cams. And, but I, I don't think the Valkams had that much of an impact on their last defense of CCTV. So I, I really think, you know, the Pulse is the bigger one. What they need to do is they need to be able to, they need to be able to quickly condense down this map. So considering Jackal. that Jackal could do it. So considering they have, you know, they don't really have a lot of roamers and what roamers they do have are poised to escape, if not already have escaped already. Yeah, they have down on basement. So, you know, their roamers have zero pressure. Quite literally, all they need to do is take control of the map, start opening up their hatch. They need to start working on their plant. The sooner they start working on that plant, I feel they'll have more and more success. A lot of C4 is still in the hands of Aerowolf. And of course, those gas babes can deny that plant. So you have to get onto it fairly quickly. Yep, so they got two C4s, the smokes, and... Uh, Impact grenades if you want to go crazy. Nah, you I'm pretty sure they would have used them at this point. It's likely. So, it's working away at these castle barricades. It may waste a little bit of time. Not sure how impactful that'll be, but in the next few seconds, I'd like to see Favs deciding where they want to plant and and, uh, and getting that going. It looks like well, it might actually be a vault push once again. Didn't push work again. out for well. And they got demolished coming down this hatch last time. Like, they got demolished dropping down that hatch. It's a very atypical push, and it's atypical because it's not often successful. Yeah, and that's it. Like, you need to have very certain steps in place to be able to push down that... be able to push down that hatch, but... It's good if you can sneak, like, one person down there or something, but, you know, you can't really sneak a whole team down that hatch. Not if you don't have any crossfires as well. I, I really feel like, you know, being able to have a multifaceted push is essential when you're dropping into a crossfire like that. But four players ready Shin. to go through there. Shin Attackers pushing in solo through the garage. I do like this. Now, Luna Metal, the lone man inside a garage, I think he's distracted potentially. Odin Miso wants to try and condense him. Oh, but Shin finds Luna, and Shin could potentially find another inside of lockers. Odin Miso starts to make his push on inside. Yeah, they're coming out here. It's all starting to fall in place. The timing, as you can see here, Mensal is though putting an end to K Razor. Here comes Odin Miso, pulls out the skeleton key, takes out Mentalist. 
Hysterics, though, does find Afro. Ysterra takes out Odin Miso. And now this is starting to collapse. Shin does find one. The plant is going down. They have to stop this plant. They do manage to successfully stop it, but Shin is going to take out another one. Just one person left. Shin gets himself a, was that, a 3k, 4k? Either way, Shin is going to win it for his team. Yeah, 4k for Shin. Great stuff. It, very impressive. I'm, I'm really impressed with that hold, I mean, uh, that, that take rather. We talked about how vault pushes don't typically work. They're not very, uh, very common, but the way that they did it was fantastic. Push As one said, person crossfire. through garage and, and yeah, have that crossfire. Garage disable the positions in conjunction with Odin Miso on the main stairs, disable those key positions. Then Odin Miso could, uh, could start pushing forward. He got himself inside of lockers and started clearing out the main players. The player in gold vault was taken out by Shin who peeked in through red hallway really just putting the pieces together one by one and allowing the fav uh, planting and the support team to drop down the hatch and, and get themselves into the bomb site to start planting right, i also as for the iq pick you know why was iq three speed is very useful when you're making a solo push like that but on top of that you know a nice gun and the Defense utility of being able to ensure that there are no valkyrie right cameras directly looking at you yep. when you're making a solo push that requires you to be a not Holy known quantity damn hysterics 14 Ooh. frags. Definitely been stepping up in this best of three and on this map as well. Yeah, he Bomb really, really attacker. has. And Mentalist had nine for himself as well, so he's definitely doing well. But we're seeing a much more even frag count across the Fab gaming lineup than what we are. Aerowolf. Aerowolf just seemed to be enabling Hysterics. I mean, we've had a lot of good plays from Hysterics on the attacking side, especially, but as for the defense. He has had, I mean, there have been some situations where he's gotten unnecessary kills, you know, finishing off a last player in a five versus one, but he's also had some very strong impact frags. Now, defending this basement once again, Aerowolf lost out to that unexpected vault push from Fav Gaming. Looks like Fav may well be going for the exact same thing with the same lineup. Yeah, Array just going to move one of his castles, I think. No, he's just going to collect it and <laughs> run off with it. Save it for later. Yeah, maybe. Um, I mean, if he potentially can get it off, a castle late game can be devastating. As long right? as you have a safe position to uh, to deploy it, I definitely agree. Yeah. Now, um, looks like map control's going fairly well in favor of Fav Gaming. Arrowwolf retreating back to site once more, but the issue would be if Fav does attempt this vault push once again and Arrowwolf aren't prepared for it, and their key players start getting taken down. There's the final castle barricade. I like that. It's at the bottom of the main stairs to protect the player in garage from being pushed from that side. So they only have to worry about the garage player. Yep. As that is what cost him his life last time. Typhon going to be opening up this castle barricade. It's a little bit quicker than what it was last round, of course. They did do this around the minute 30 mark, where this time they get it done at minute 40. Looks like it might actually be a... a server push for once. Fav Gaming deciding, all right, look, we made it work last time on our vault push, but let's not do it this time. They're going to read into it. Let's mix it up. But Ysera is going to be clued into this, as you can see, yep. scanning out. Pulse in that gold vo vault has all the information they need. Why haven't they popped that thermite yet? Waiting for some reason. Texan Dynamite on hold. Shin going to be holding the angle. Here comes Odin Miso. Is that what they were waiting for? Now a lot of angles being opened up by Odin Miso, completely destroying that wall, giving a lot of flexibility to Airwolf and some long angles from behind the server as well to challenge the position inside of the red hallway. Yep, and of course with Echo Band, here now comes you know, some smallish plant denial. We are running way low on time though. Look at that, 44 seconds to go, and we still have all of the gas babes and the C4. These smokes are, are hoping that the intel is not going to be there. K Razor goes for an, an unusual plan spot, but the C4 oh. can deny that. Lunar Metal knows what's up. K Razor goes down, but Odin Miso starts the work for his team. Hysterics with the reply. Odin Miso continuing from his rampage on the main stairs. Shin knows he needs to go for this. And Odin Miso once again, finally, Array puts him down. It's just two players left for either team. Taipon covering his team out on the flank, shoots out wow. the C4 as well. Plant goes down, Shin finds one, all up to the last player. Ysera gets the refrag, just Ysera versus Taipon. Who's going to break away 
onto match point. Yastera finds out the position of the last remaining player of Fav Gaming. He needs to bait out this defuse, but there are so many angles that he can use, Taipon can use to peek onto Yastera. They definitely have a drone on it. They have intel on it, I think. And, oh, he's going to know where he is. He needs to get aggressive. He's heard him come oh. down, but... No! no what? Oh, my God, a trade? Are you kidding me? And because the diffuser was down, then it was an attacker win as well. My goodness. That's, <laughs> that's land for you, my friends. That's just the fact that we're on land and that happens tells you that these guys were so evenly matched in that gunfight. There is no, like, there is almost no latency mm. in this local network. Yeah, there is no latency on land. It is so different to play on. You hear the players talk about it all the time, that this game was built to be played on land, right? Like, this game was built to be played on land. It is the true Siege experience, if you haven't already. But we're going back up to CEO now. They've lost CCTV twice. They don't want to tempt fate by going it for a third time. And with Fav on match point and series point now, this is getting serious. I think that Airwolf certainly want to take us to that maximum overtime. It's getting very, very close. And, and uh, <laughs> any, any little small mistake here can cost your team, can make your team go home. So is Airwolf going to be able to go into the grand final or will Fav Gaming take the whole weekend? <laughs> That's what you're asking here because Typically, Aero Wolf, when they lose, it's only ever to the best of the best. Always the bride made, never the bride. That's right. No, I promise there's... The wise a... words of monkey fish. <laughs> yeah. There is, there is a, a, a word that has been used to describe Aero Wolf in the past that I promised them I wouldn't use this weekend. I'll say it so for I'm going to skip to... I'm, I'm going to... Gatekeepers. I will these, use it for these you. These guys though. are looking to be the gate crashers this weekend. <laughs> they got their battering ram. They're trying to go through. And they're, and they're running it right up. And this is the point where everything comes down to. They cannot let Fav steal away with this one. It has to be an overtime for Aerowolf. This CEO bomb site they struggle with, but they've also made it work on the back of some incredibly aggressive plays from Hysterix. Surely we need to say the same thing again. The man is on fire, and this is the time when his team needs him most. Certainly it is. He needs to step up. And you know, Odin, Miso, and Afro as well, they have been doing phenomenal work. Taipon has found himself in some very difficult situations that he has done amazing in as well. So, you know, all of these Fav Gaming players have done tremendous work so far where Aerowolf has really just been on Hysterics and uh, I believe it was Array. It was the second top frag. Oh, oh Mentalist, okay. sorry. It was Hysterics and Mentalist who have done very, very well for themselves. Perhaps this is going to be a Fab Gaming west side push. Lots of drones set up. Perhaps that's just to protect the players on the north windows. So you can have someone call it out. Odin Miso playing passively with the Skeleton Key, which he's used very effectively he in recent has. rounds. He's found a lot of kills with that Skeleton Key. So flashbangs coming in from Taipon, just trying to burn the ADS and burn them he does. Perhaps we'll see the uh, grenades from Buck being utilized to flush out these players. I'd like to see it used to destroy this castle barricade. Expose that mirror position. That's what's going to happen. Here you have it. See if uh, Odin Miso can do his job and try and counter that position on the mirror. Even could grenade it if he so wishes. You can see Lunar Metal playing very safely now. Array once again on this roam with the pulse. Worked very well for him in the past. As long as it doesn't get picked up. Here comes Array. Let's see whether or not he can be effective getting this flank from basement. Coming up the server stairs. There is a the lot happening. of people around. K Rays has made his way in. He's planting in the smoke right now. Whether or not they're going to be able to get it. Afro stops Hysterix's flank. But here comes Array. The C4 misses. Oh, no. There's one on the roof. There's one on his left. Shin picks up one. Odin Miso picks up one for himself as well. Two versus five. Fab Gaming on the precipice of taking out Aerowolf right now. Two versus five. A mountain to climb for Aerowolf. Mentalist, this is the time to prove yourself on the mirror. He has no versatility, nothing to do. How can you possibly take out these positions? There's someone on the roof, no less. Can he contest, win this angle? No, Afro takes it. It's all up to Array, the last man standing. Running out of time though. He's got a small amount of time. And look at this, they're throwing bodies at him. But Odin Miso is making sure that Aerowolf go home and Fab go forward to the grand final. What a great series. And once again, Aerowolf gets so close, but close is just not enough oh, wow. for them. Fav Gaming steal it away and turn, turn up, really, for the first time 
since the last, the very first APAC LAN.